<sighs> okay, let's try it again from the beginning. Oh, spirits who hear my voice, give me power, I give you no. Um, what comes after that? Yes! Ow! Why does it take so long for you to memorize anything? Can't you try just a little harder, fam? But, Eerie... Listen, fam, just because we managed to get the proof of royalty doesn't mean that getting the other two treasures we need is going to be easy. All the area ever talks about anymore is finding that ultimate power. I can't believe how slow you are at memorizing spells. Having to rely on a dullard like you is starting to get on my nerves. Oh. At this rate, I'm going nowhere fast. <laughs> hey, what are you doing with our stuff? What's wrong? I'm sorry that I've held you back, Eerie. Since I'm so dense and dull, I won't bother you from now on. Oh, come on, fam. I... I really mean it. I really am going to go right now. Sure you are. Oh, I'll never come back again, you know? <sighs> I hate you, Eerie! <laughs> <sighs> She's so easy to read sometimes. She knows that she's got nowhere else to go. <sighs> Maybe I should go back and make up with Erie again. No! Erie needs to learn that she has to be nicer to me or else she can't have my magic anymore. How? Oh, it's her fault if I get a new partner. <laughs> It's okay. I'm not a bandit or anything. But you know, you could get really lost if you started running around the forest at this time of night. Oh. <laughs> that rotten little Wigan! Damn! She took the idol! for taking off with the food and the idol, but she grabbed my wallet, too. No money, no magic, no food, and no idol, either. I'm oh, totally screwed. Yes. All of these items are huh? absolutely genuine. They don't call me honest galuff for nothing, you know. Ah, uh, just look at that shine, gentle sir. Isn't that lovely? Yes? Now, this is just between you and me, but this little gem came from a cert. I, it's a mistake! I haven't done anything wrong! I'm not the man I used to be, honest. Please, let me go, and I'll do anything you ask me to do. Anything? Oh, most assuredly, yes. Well, now that you mention it, old man, I might be persuaded to let you go. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me! You don't really expect me to work tables wearing something like this! Do you? But you look good like that. You bastard! You're enjoying this, aren't you? My, my, my. Do I hear someone forgetting who it was who got this position oh. for her? Hey, what are you doing? Why are you standing around chatting when there's still work to do? Uh, uh, can I at least get something to eat first? You can work first and eat later. <laughs> now, take this to the table by the window and act like a winch. Wiggle your butt and smile. 
won't wiggle. Hi! <laughs> Look at the monkey trick for now! Oh. Hey! Don't get saucy with us, Wayne! Get her, Miguel! <laughs> I can't uh, see either. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, give us a break. Just how stupid do you think we are? Well, actually, the truth of the matter is that my partner took it and ran off. You're a lousy liar. Well, I guess I'll have to search you. Uh, <coughs> Ooh, you're a big uh, one. Uh, I boss. Behavior like that won't be tolerated in this place of business, sir. Excuse me? If you have something to say to one of my employees, I'm afraid you'll have to address it to me first. <laughs> Hey, nice punch, buddy. Hey, Lyle, how far is it to the Selene place anyway? Let's see. On horseback, it would take two days. But I'm worried now. We're leaving your partner behind. Couldn't that be rather dangerous for her? Oh, no way. Erie can take care of herself. You do want me to come with you, don't you? Of course I do. I can't imagine how I could have found my way out of that forest without your help. You really saved me, fam. <laughs> I can't imagine what sort of nasty old meanie would sell someone like you a worthless map like that. I suppose I should have been more careful, but he seems so nice. Oh, well, at least once we're past this town, I know how to get there from here. Hey, my dad! Come on, it's just getting fun! Is that the best you can do? Yeah. I Pretty good, Sonny. You too. <laughs> You're not getting away from me. I still owe you the tip from last time. Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. together in air. What's up? Huh? I summon you spirits. Take heed of my power. Make time like molasses a minute an hour. Take the energy expended and add to my head. This I command. Damn that old bastard. A curse that turns me into a mouse every time I use magic isn't what I call fair punishment for blowing up a stupid laboratory. <laughs> Is some kind of medicine? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> mm, I can't believe she doesn't have anything of value in here. Excuse me! Did you forget something in my bag? <laughs> oh, I just decided to help organize your luggage. <laughs> Why, were you really? Thank you so much! If this is a trick, I'll chop you up and feed you to your mangy mud until he chokes! Why, I'd never dream of it, but I heard with my very own ears that the second enchanted item is supposed to be buried in an old rune just ahead of us, honest. And who told you this? A handsome young knight who I happened to meet during my travels. <laughs> Yeah, so where's this ruin? Inside Selim, the underground city. So, this is the proof of royalty? Mm-hmm. Are you sure this is all right? Huh? Well, what about your partner? This idol is something that the two of you work together to get. So what? She's too mean and grouchy anyway. She's probably forgotten about it already. Arius... Arius way too flighty anyway. <laughs> So I think you should have it, Lyle. Is that okay? Uh, thank you. Hey, Lyle, what will you do with the ultimate power once we find it? That's hard to say. I'm not really after the ultimate power itself. But still. But still? Mm. Mm.
you sure this is the right way? This map is genuine. What makes you so sure? Oh, please. Trust me for once. That lousy traitor. Are they after the sword? Of course they are, you big jerk. But you and I are going to take it away from them. Uh, huh? Is something wrong? Uh, hmm, it's Fam. I knew she couldn't stay away. Hey, Galaf! The second item we need to get the ultimate power is buried in the underground city of Salim, isn't it? Oh. So just having the proof of royalty would be useless unless you had the second item, too. What are you babbling about? Just play along with me, okay? Well, let's get going. Don't want to get lost. She must know we're here. We'd better open up some distance between us and them. Hey, what are you doing back there? Don't worry about it. You just make sure we're going the right way. Jeez, that fam is so much trouble. Mm, I'm afraid we lost them. Looks like we were too careful. Huh? Rasha, someone wants us to go this way. <laughs> hey! You fathead, I'm not going to fall into such an obvious trap that easily. They must have gone this way. I'd say use your brains, but you've been sitting on them too long. <laughs> I don't believe this. <sighs> now that's really amazing. That's the biggest set of roots I've ever seen. They're not roots, they're branches. But for some reason, they're all growing into the ground. It's as if there is something more powerful than the sun buried beneath the city. The tree must have destroyed the city trying to get to it. You might be right. You know what I'm thinking? This place might not only hide the second item, but maybe even the ultimate power itself. Really? I guess we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Enjoying yourself, fam? Oh, yes! There are so many spirits in here to play with! <laughs> you Wigan folk are very close to the spirits, aren't you? Yes, but the spirits in here are afraid of something. Oh, what do you think happened in here, Lyle? A war, fam. The Lord who once ruled this land decided that he wanted to keep all of the magic for himself, and a war broke out between him and the citizens. The magic users were powerful and resisted fiercely, until finally, the Lord allowed the magics that supported this city to run amok. Are you talking about the ultimate power, Lyle? I don't know, but it is said that the great city of Salim was decimated in a matter of seconds. The shape of that great tree is probably just a sign of the amount of power that must have been unleashed. Ooh. This was a prosperous city. So much was lost here. Or I should say, only after it was all lost did it become clear how prosperous the city had been. <sighs> Fam, you really ought to make peace with Eerie and rekindle your friendship. You should do it while you still can. Can't you do something magical to warm us up? Not now. But why not? I thought you could do magic. Just forget it! Using magic isn't an option! Not unless Fam decides to show up. Huh? So which way do we go now? Let's see. Blair? Are you sure? No. Oh, not again! I can't believe we lost track of them again! Why can't we follow them more closely since they know we're here anyway? So I should just disgrace myself by accepting their charity? Uh, yeah. Well, in any case, all we have to do is keep going down. The treasure is always at the very bottom of the dungeon, you know. Huh? <laughs> now this is certainly different. How strange. All these stairs only go up. Hey, if they only go up, then maybe... Then maybe we're at the very bottom. But we haven't gone down far enough yet. Huh? Uh Damn, there 
are a lot of them. I can't communicate with them at all. Why can't I, Lyle? It's because these aren't living creatures, fam. They're artificial. They're just puppets powered by magic. Muppets! Are you sure, Lyle? Yes. I know the man that's controlling them. What? I'm sorry I got you into this, fam. <laughs> Side, okay? Uh, sure. Are you all right? Yeah. Uh, hey, get away from him! Little kitties don't belong here. Would you mind if I asked you your name, darling? Ah, uh, it's Lyle. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Rasha. I'm honored to make your acquaintance, Mr. Lyle. I seek vengeance. My foe is after the ultimate power. Those strange things we just fought were his creations? That's right. So what you're really after is your enemy, not the treasure itself? Exactly. Fam, Lyle is revealing this to us because it might be safer if we stayed out of this fight. I don't care! I want to go along with Lyle! Hey, you're not the shopkeeper who sold Lyle that nasty old fake map, are you? Uh -uh. What did you say about your changing your ways? <laughs> so, you're assuming that your nemesis will be where the treasure is? Yes, he'll be there. <gasps> A sword of Sargus! <laughs> huh? It's you! I trust that you were quite entertained by my puppets, Prince Lyle. You're a prince? Oh. My name is Lyle Rebart Rian. I am the son of the Lord of Rebart, King Rian. And that demonic creature is the monster who murdered my father and destroyed the nation I loved, Rugodorol! Rugodorol! What's that? You've heard of him? Of course I have. He's the overlord who used his black magic to conquer the entire North Continent all by himself. So you do remember me. I'm honored, Prince. How could I forget your black name? You were the greatest peacemaker our people had ever known, but then your thirst for power spilled the blood of our entire nation. Remember, your evil face is burned into my mind like a scar. <laughs> What a pity it is that you should insist on throwing away the life that good fortune allowed you to keep. Damn you! Huh? 
<laughs> you still have much to learn, my dear prince. <laughs> I think I shall leave that sword with you in commemoration of this encounter. I shall look forward to our next meeting, Prince. Assuming, of course, that you're not a coward. <laughs> <laughs> This prince is keeping company with some real nasties. He was able to deflect your magic without uttering a spell himself. Oh, benevolent spirits of healing, alleviate the pain this brave man is feeling. Oh. He's all right. He'll come around in just a little bit. So this is the sort of Sargus. Yes. <laughs> Looks like it's not meant for you. Ah! What's going on here? Miguel! All right, leave it to me. <laughs> ah! Holy! The legend's true. Uh -huh. The sword of Sargus requires a soul free of temptation. Only the pure of heart may wield it. <laughs> Couldn't you have mentioned that a little earlier? I'm going to try it. Sam? Sam? Sam! What is your wish? Tell me of your wish. Are you talking to me? Yes. Who are you? I am the Spirit Sargus. Speak of your wish. Uh, why me? Because your spirit is comforting. It is different from the spirits of the men that destroyed this city. I am fond of your spirit. I can ask for anything? Anything. Fam! Are you all right? Uh-huh. I'm fine. I just talked to the spirit of Sargus. Oh. <laughs> we got the sword! But Eerie... Huh? What? Oh. Fan? Oh, I'm sorry, Eerie. I asked Sargus to help... to help Lyle instead of me. What?! You mean you just gave it to him?! Does that mean that if we want to find the ultimate power, that we're gonna have to go along with them and fight that monstrous magician guy?! <gasps> well, I'll be more than happy enough to come along and assist you in all of your struggles, Prince Lyle. Uh, well... Fam, I don't know how I could thank you enough for... Oh, it's fine. Eerie, I should have asked you first. Huh? Well, <laughs> it's okay. It wasn't as if I could have done anything with it anyway, you know? But since I'm not about to rest until I make that old goat regret ever knowing me, count me in! Oh, you mean you're still willing to come along with us, Eerie? If you don't mind my tagging along, partner. Thank you. Thank you. All of you. Hey, wait a second. I don't remember me saying anything about me coming along and- no! Oh, Miguel! You're always joking around! <laughs> huh? And what are you two doing back there? <laughs> oh, I was hoping I might join the quest as well. Sure, the more the merrier. And 
so our partnership of two has suddenly swelled as five new members have joined us for the greatest quest. Rasha, the sorcerer. Miguel, the alleged master swordsman. Lyle, prince of the now gone kingdom of Revart. The merchant Galuf and his dog Gil. Our journey will be a quest for the ultimate power, and that means we will have to face the black sorcerer, Ragudarol, again. How will the strength of our tiny band stand up against the awesome powers he commands? We'll find out soon enough. To the third item, the Rune Explorers are setting sail on the wide open seas. Yay! The ocean! The ocean! Stormy seas and squalid sailors await. It's the next episode of Ruin Explorers! Let the light of admonishment shine upon the fools! Whee! The ocean is full! 